Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to uh, show you how we can download and um, the process to use uh, the crash records information system from Texas Department of Transportation. So I know a lot of us um, uh, like engineers, either transportation, traffic or planners, we um, use a lot of uh, crash data uh, using GIS to process. So if I, uh, I have some people uh, checking my GIS video, they're asking how we can download uh, crash data. So I'm just using this as an example to show you how um, the process uh, to use the website from uh, Texas Department of Transportation um, for the crash. So this is just for Texas area. So uh, if you are located in other areas, so uh, you won't be able to follow. But if you are doing some projects in Texas, then uh, it is the uh, the video that you want to uh, follow. So if you go out, uh, post the website to uh, the uh, under the video description. So you don't need to uh, re uh, remember this. So this is basically the, the um, standard data uh, website that uh, Techstar has for um, posting. So they generally update the crash data uh, every few months, uh, depending on uh, the time frame. But they generally update at least once uh, in a quarter. Um, so once we got to chris.dot.dot.state.dot.dx.dot.us public slash Query slash apps that welcome them. We can go to um, you can we can see this web page and then what I usually do is to go to the build so start building a new crash query. So let's um, start by clicking start building query. So after we landing at this page, we will see multiple options here. So select the query type. And there are three options. One is want to find all crashes that meet a certain set of criteria. Second one is to find units, vehicles, bicycle, trains that were involved in crash that meet a certain set of criteria. And uh, the third one is I want to find persons that were involved in crash that meet a certain set of criteria. So what we usually do and interest in is the crash. And sometimes we may interest in the units. Uh, and uh, sometimes we may uh, interested in the persons, but generally uh, for the we we usually use the first one. So the crash that meets as a set of criteria means that all the crash records. So they treat one crash as one unit when we are downloading as one record basically. Like because sometimes the crash may involve one vehicle, sometimes the crash may involve multiple vehicle, right? So if if the vehicle is just hitting hitting um, the shelter or the barrier or just uh, go outside of the uh, road. So that might be just involving one vehicle, but sometimes the vehicle is like crashing with another vehicle or pedestrian or um, or bicyclist or a bus. So that in that case, we we'll have multiple uh, parties involved. So that will generate, uh, sometimes we'll have uh, more than one um, uh, like if we treat as the units, then we'll have more than one unit and each special person, then we'll have multiple persons involved sometimes. But um, for the first one, um, it's basically treating one crash as one record. And then in that record, we'll have um, how many persons were involved, were injured, fatal, uh, involved in uh, like injury, serious injury or uh, fatal injury. Uh, or um, possible injury, something like that. So basically listing uh, all the information related to the particular uh, crash record. So with that said, uh, I'll just choose the first one and then click on next. So the first question is basically asking you when did the crash occur that you would like to find. So this is the time frame you want to select the crash um, uh, for example, if I want crash from 2015 to 2020, then I need to select uh, the second uh, point, uh, a range of years. If you just want one year, like for example, if you just want crashes for 2020, then you can select 
uh, the first bullet for uh, from a specific year, and the third bullet is so, so that crash from a specific date and time frame. It is basically you want shorter than a year, and if you just want um, uh, September to October in 2020, then you can just maybe just select the third bullet. But I, I want to demonstrate. Uh, using a second point uh, with a range of years when so uh, going to download the crash between 2015 um, to 2020. So I, let's hit next. And then you can define um, either select crash by a county or a city or a specific highway. So a county like uh, where I live in is Harris County, Houston. So I'll just demonstrate you uh, select in Harris County. And if you're interested in a particular city like Houston or the Woodlands or, um, or uh, Fort Worth or Dallas, then you want to select this particular city you're interested in. And the third bullet is basically you can select crash from the highway. For example, you want to just interest in uh, industry 45, then you can just select um, this uh, from here to filter down the, all the crashes that happened along industry 45. And you can also like see here we have more choices that you can have define more complex search criteria using Filter Builder. So um, you can you can try, but I think it's basically similar. You can add more filters for the location, like maybe adding more. Uh, so here is just one county or one city or one highway. But if you want it more specified from the area, then you can um, use this function. And you can even define uh, search area using interact map, which basically you, you have a map and then to define the area that you're interested in. You can draw the boundary as you like. Or you can search all of Texas. So it's basically uh, download all the records, but there'll be huge files. So I usually don't recommend because like you see here, it's like uh, over 5 million uh, crashes. And sometimes it's really big data set. So what I'm gonna do is to select uh, but do a county and then I will type in Harris so Harris County and then I can go next so I select the date and the time and the location and I also come to and enter the crash details so the details as you can see there's a lot of filters that we can add um, so um, there are a few filters that you can see authorized by textile. So those are the filters that we can um, select, like alcohol, involved crash, district driving crash, or other inference of alcohol. So all, all work zone crashes. So all those are the, the filters that textile uh, kind of predefined uh, for you. Then you can direct select if you're interested in like only um, downloading um, the crash data that under the inference by alcohol drugs you can select uh, but what I'm gonna do is to add one and then see you can uh, there, there are a lot of views that you can um, select so there's a lot of information here so I what I suggest to you is go through the list and see which ones you are interested in. So uh, I don't think a lot of uh, views that uh, showing up here are uh, of my interest. So uh, I think what I usually do is I have the intersection flag Oh, let me just um, see so here's basically you want to uh, identify sometimes like in, if it's intersection um, involved, then the intersection flag can give you the future. For example, you, you find selecting um, is true, then it, it basically means you're downloading all the crashes that 
uh, is involving an intersection. Or if I'm selecting another field, if I'm selecting day of week, so if I'm just if I just want to download the crash that happened on Monday, then I can select Monday. So it's basically uh, this will give you the filter for only the day of week column is equal to Monday. Then uh, the records will showing up in your data. So um, this is just for demonstrating purpose. So I'm just going to um, select. Uh, let's see. Maybe crash severity, and I'm going to equal to um, fail injury. So, um, oh, it says it's only available for crashes after 2017. Um, so maybe um, I think some of the records have been. Um, changed because before we have incapacitating injury but now I think they have changed a little bit but I guess that doesn't matter so I just um, select the fatal injury and then go to next and then the unit filter we can add one but I generally don't have the unit um, filter because it, basically the unit filter can give you the future for uh, for example the vehicles like you're just interested in the Volkswagen and you can select here and then equal to Volkswagen or you can select the vehicle color if you're just interested in like color red uh, you can select but what I what I try to do is I do not select anything and person's detail this is where you want to uh, use the future for persons like the driver. Uh, if the driver is under like alcohol influence or the license plate, if the driver license is uh, commercial or just a regular driver license or the license uh, state, whether it's from outside of Texas or is within Texas, um, or there's a lot of other uh, like personal helmet, I think this is for um, especially for the uh, bicyclists that if uh, if a particular crash is involving uh, bicyclists and and whether a person is with a helmet or not and the gender and ethnicity and there's a lot of things that you can you can basically go through it basically it's driver and other person so wh whether it's the person it, because driver is just the person driving and person there might be other people like within a car or <clears throat> they may involve um, pedestrian or bicyclist so all those are the person's details so I don't need um, the future here so and going to uh, summary so this is basically providing a summary of the query that I built so I want to so this is why I want all the crashes that meet the criteria and select like a range of years from 2015 to 2020 and I just want uh, Harris County's uh, crash and I only want the fatal injury uh, involved crash so I don't have any future for the unit in person but you can add and then I can save it let me just quickly check Result can view when day and time is being oh so since like I need to specify the date and time. Um, let me see. Basically, oh, I haven't uh, selected time. So uh, because the field crash doesn't um, that record doesn't start from twenty seventeen, so I'm gonna uh, select, uh, select from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty. So see, they already have some result for 2021. So I think they're updating every quarter, at least. So that's what I can tweet. Okay, so all those have been met. So you can see results can be viewed here and they are a uh, um, total 1,000 and 
266 crashes. And so here the result summary, and you can view um, either chart graph or you can see like a map view. It's taking uh, it's taking some time. It basically shows you all the field crashes that happened within my query, and there are a lot of them. So I think this is very convenient, and you can also have table and list view. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is just to export CSV. Um, to um, to my desktop. I think I'm gonna result summary charts table view. So I'm going to select. So okay, so this is where you will select all the rows. So this is what I usually do. Select this view and then select all the columns that you want to show when you are uh, exporting to um, the CVS, CVF, like I need county, intersection flag. You can select as many as you want, basically. Severity, crash time, crash year, and other information. And then hit OK, and then export. And that's it. Post any question you have. Um, I, I think it's pretty much it, and I'll post a link to um, the description.